We are from BSIT 2.1a and today we will talk about on logic gates and its diagram. I'm going to show you end gate and its diagram. This is the diagram of the end gate. So here, here we need this 7408 IC or and this line in the center the connection in here is vertical like this first we need to put this IC in the breadboard like that as I said in the middle the connection in here is vertical in the upper and the bottom part of the breadboard is horizontal in connection. First thing we should do, we need to have the, in, the negative and the positive of the IC. This. This is the 14th pin and the 7th pin of the IC. This is the positive and the negative of the IC. And then, we need to have a battery that is 9 volt. We need to put it here. Like this. that and then this this wire will serve as the inputs of our end gate and we will go in have this LED bulb for the output. Because our battery is 9 volt, we need to have this resistor to resist the bolt. Here, we put it in the third pin or the output of the IC. Like that. This bulb will serve as the output. This is the input and this is the output. Input, the, 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 the first and the second pin are the input. The third one is the output. I will put now the output. And as you can see, it works because the truth table of N gate. Once you have, once you have an output that is one, the bulb will light. But once you have a zero input, the bulb will not light. Let's see if it is work yeah. as you can see there we have a 1 and 0 input so the output is also 0 now I will perform the OR gate wait now Three. now then we put the wires on negative and positive of the IC Then after that, I will put the inputs on pin number 1 and 2. 
Then, now I will put the the resistor on the output on pin number 3. Then, the LED light. Then, yeah. Now you see the LED lights because the input is the input 1 and 2 is 1. So the output is 1. Then, but if you put if the input one is zero and the input two is one the output will be one but if the two input is zero the output will be zero hello guys my name is ben and welcome to our tutorial in this video tutorial i'm going to show to you how to perform the nut gate Using this material, I have here breadboard, 9 volts battery, LED bulb, IC, wire, and resistor. But before anything else, Let's have some short review about this breadboard. This breadboard, the upper part of the breadboard are the positive or the 1. And the lower part is the negative or the 0. And the current flows horizontal. Same with the negative. The current flows horizontal. At here, at the center, the current flows vertical, meaning starting here up to here. Okay? Since we are performing NAT gates, so we need the IC number 7404. And here is the IC number 7404. And I'm going to put it here. But it's up to you guys. Uh, whenever you like it to place the IC whenever here 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 or here but in my case I'll put it here the IC 7404 and we need wire the first wire is aligned with the pin number 7 and it is being connected to the zero or the negative and it serves our ground and another wire align on pin number 8 and it is being connected to the 1 or the positive okay we have IC7404 and we have the negative connection and the positive connection and we need more wire one more wire okay and I'll put it align with the number I pin number one and this wire here serves as our input hey okay, we have IC7404 the positive connection the negative connection and our input next we need resistor the resistor place next to pin uh, our input or the align with pin number 2 the first legs align with pin number 2 next to our input and the other legs of this resistor connect here 
Okay. We have now the input wire, the negative connection, a stiff connection, a 7 for 0 for and the resistor. This resistor serves as the reducer of the voltage of the battery. Uh, for to avoid damage of the LED bulb. Okay, and now I'm going to connect first the battery. I don't have battery jacket, so I just tie the wire on the battery. Okay, this red uh, black wire is the negative, and this red wire is the positive. Okay. I'm going to connect the negative and the positive. Okay, we're done connecting the battery. So now we have sample truth table here. For example, our output is zero. Then I the input is zero. Then our output will be one. Okay, let's try. Our input is zero. I'm going to connect it here. Now we have input zero. So but we don't have LED bulb, so I'm going to connect the LED bulb with the positive part place here oh this led bulb serves as our output the truth table said that if our input is zero our output is one it is correct our input here is one a uh, zero rather so our output is one the bulb light but what if our input is one and our output becomes zero okay let's change i'm going to put our input Our input now is 1. 1, then our output becomes 0. Meaning the bulb not light. Okay. Input 1, output is 0. Input 1, output is 0. Okay. If I'm return it to input 1 then the bulb slide okay we have input 0 then our output is 1 the negative connection and the positive connection and the IC7404 and the resistor it works meaning our connection is correct that's all thanks for watching hope you learn from our video tutorial thank you